Good evening, everybody. Hi, Leo. This is your reading. We're doing a heart to heart, which is a heart shaped spread that I've created. I'm going to start drawing right away. As soon as I get all the cards, we'll start reading. It's kind of like a synastry, like an astrology, when you compare two car, uh, two natal charts together. So I analyze one side over the other. It's like a, a little bit of a you versus them energy. So let's start uh, right away. The first card is like a common energy, like the overall. Heart to heart conversations. <laughs> Honestly, discuss your feelings with e each other. So we are definitely on the right topic, aren't we? <laughs> so it's seven cards on each side. You're going to be on the left-hand side because it's the, the side where the heart resides in the body. So I'm going to shuffle a little bit and then start pulling. For these, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put them down and then I'll show you the cards as we go along. It's no use for me to just list them all now like this. And last card here. Oops. And that last card is the bottom tip of the heart and it... It's like the outcome, basically. It's also common energy for both of you. So common energy here is the Four of Air, Four of Swords. So a place where you can retreat, a place where you can both um, spend some time alone in that heart-to-heart -heart conversation would be auspicious if you decide to look at the Four of Swords here, possibly as a moment where that you spend alone together. But that's a quick intuitive hit, so let me just start actually with you. You have the Eight of Pentacles. I'm going to show you a few cards and then we'll keep going. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse and the Euro font in the reverse. So you at the moment... Uh, you're steadfast at work. You're not wasting any time whatsoever. You don't have time on your hands, I believe. For some reason, you're caught up with all your responsibilities, your commitments, all your chores. It feels like you've got it handled, but it's quite uh, a feat here. On their side, the Two of Swords, the star in the reverse, and the knight of pentacles. So your person, the person on your mind, um, is also a hardworking person, very reliable. I find them to be steadfast. And they're a person of their word. So they're always going to do what they say they're going to do. They're going to walk their talk. Um, they're quite, I don't, I'm going to say hesitant, but they're also on the fence about, I don't know, some, something is bothering them, quote unquote, about expecting maybe an outcome with any particular situation. I don't know if it's towards you per se, they could be waiting on you, quote unquote, but it's, it's much more like having some kind of expectation with the star in the reverse, I feel that it's not being very hopeful. And I don't want to say that it's pessimistic. I just think that this uh, energy is actually expectant. So we'll see what that is. Uh, I can show you right away. They have the tower here. And uh, they also have the Ten of Swords. So something is probably brewing on their side that they're sensing is happening or about to happen. But um, it's also how they feel, right? So I'm not too sure why they feel like this. Um, 
but they're expecting the worst. So maybe, yes, pessimism should have been said here on this first card, but it has to do with um, thinking maybe things are over with you. You do have the year of fun in the reverse. Have you ended this? Uh, have you guys had maybe a fight, some kind of argument, some kind of fall? fall out. I mean, you're going to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, so maybe you had some issues. I don't know, this person feels like it's over, like something cannot be mended. But they were kind of expecting, expecting um, this to happen with you. I'm not too sure why. You do have the justice, so I believe an apology is possible between the two of you. And they also, you also have the page of rods. So you're the one that's going to initiate the conversation. I can tell you that right away. Um, you want to make amends. You want to maybe say sorry. I'm not saying and not implying that you're responsible for the fallout, but... This person has felt very, very betrayed or at least very hurt by you or by the situation. There's also a little bit of um, status quo. Uh, you could have spent some time, both of you, not seeing each other and that could have been the issue if you were really busy at work and without, uh, well, inadvertently maybe ignoring the person, it's possible that they would have gotten mad and let you know. <laughs> the other thing is you have the moon and the ace of cups here. So I think you're going to pour your emotions when you actually speak to this person and make amends here with the justice card. When you come in with messages and when you sit down for that heart-to-heart -heart conversation, in a very private place, I really want to stress that the outcome is about healing. It's about spending time, really just the two of you, between four eyes and between four walls. Um, but you're going to be expressive about your deep love, about, you know, everything that you would have kept hidden or that you would have maybe chose to not say. <laughs> at least in the heat of the moment, you might have refrained from saying things not to make this any more explosive than it already was or make the person uh, angrier. On their side, they have the Two of Pentacles and the Five of Cups, right? So they were really, really hurt by this. You had them... You had them, you threw them for a loop, I think. Um, it made them very, very closed off as well as unbalanced, hesitating, which is the word that I've used. There's a lot of, there was a lot of hesitancy towards you in the past. That's like one of the main, the core, one of the core energies between the, the interaction here, as well as this, potential argument and and fight that you would have had but you have enormous love for this person like you are truly 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 um you have deep feelings like so so deep here and very you're extremely forthcoming about those uh you are you have your heart in your hand, as we say. It means that you are open book when it comes to how you feel and what you think. And the way you express that is absolutely beautiful and extremely free. It's gorgeous energy. But I sense you to be like catching yourself uh, or catching... How do you say, like running for <laughs> the opportunity to have like more time to yourself to maybe or even more time to dedicate to this person. 
I, I sense you to be extremely, have a full schedule and it's difficult to fit in anything else. I don't know if you, I think it's really just out of your own responsibilities. I don't think that you do it on purpose, obviously not. The other thing is, um, your person has a tendency to always look at the glass half full and not half empty. So maybe it's something that you want to address with them about, you know, you're the opposite. You're this Ace of Cups. Your, your cup is always overflowing, but theirs is always half empty. And that's something that you need to get on the same page about so that any other issues about, you know, arguing, arguing, don't keep repeating all the time between the two of you. But you can really count on this person. This is a great energy of someone that's not going to be deterred by one argument, no matter how explosive and how difficult it was. That's a one quality, like the, an amazing quality that they have is um, they're not going to let you down. And they're not going to back down either or back off. So that's amazing. You're going to be very um, sweet. I'm g I think you're going to be very um, delicate when you approach your person for this conversation. I really think you're going to take your time. For once, you're going to have the time, right? You're going to make the time. <laughs> That's really beautiful. I love that. But you have to discuss, as the card says here, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. But it also pertains to, you know, what sort of events happened that made this person feel so betrayed or you know I feel like you would have uh, kept them in the dark about something I mean you do have the moon so you could have been secretive or just not open about what you were busy uh, really about you know what I mean like you were working but I don't know that you've said that uh, or explain really what you do enough so that the person felt confident that, you know, that's really what you were doing and the sole reason why you were caught up and not spending time with them. Yeah, I really think that uh, they wouldn't have understood, at least not readily right so i think you're going to have to explain a lot more about that maybe you have a very <laughs> strict boss a uh, very demanding person overhead right a very demanding superior so <laughs> that could be one of your own um, issues or your own struggles <laughs> when it comes to having a life or work-life balance, it seems to be very difficult. You're putting in a, a lot of hours here. And I want to say intuitively more than eight. <laughs> or eight at the very least, but that's kind of a common schedule. But I think you're putting in more hours than that. So this is the reading. Hopefully something resonated in here for you. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to turn out really well. I mean, justice is showing that you guys are going to mend things, so don't worry about it. It's going to turn out really well. So thank you so, so much for being here. I'll see you in the next one. Please, on your way out, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you soon.